channel. I'm Kasaya. This is Saya Swag. And as you can see, today we are going to do another hip bag, the Be Hip by Sophisticated Craft Designs. Now, I did a live on the large size with my sister and it was super fun. It was my first time through. I have made two more since and I feel like I've got it now. Um, so I sew up the medium size in this video, which I freaking love. I love this. Look at this medium size. It is the perfect bag size. Now, before I have made two of the larges, look how much bigger the large is from the medium, okay? Just so you can get an idea. This is a great travel size, which I will use on my trip coming up, but this is a great everyday size. Um, this design is just so pretty and cool. And I see bags like this in the store all the time, all the time. So you can wear it like that. You can wear it along your back or you can wear it, you know, on your hips because it's a hip bag. <laughs> um, just like this. I mean, it's so cute. All right, so let's go over what I did in this tutorial. So I used this amazing Lux nylon material. I got it last year at, did I get it last year? I got it a few months ago at a expo with Wonderground Fabrics, Nylon Looks. I will link her shop below. I don't know if she currently has any in stock. It is, I mean, it's the stuff that they make all the bags out of. It is a little bit different than waterproof canvas. Um, it makes an amazing bag. All right, so nylon luxe all on the outside. I didn't use any interfacing on this bag. We have this front zipper pocket. We have a back zipper pocket here. And then on the inside, I have some water resistant canvas and some more cotton material. You have a slip pocket. I forgot to divide the slip pocket, but it's a smaller bag, so I don't think it needs to be. And then you have another zip pocket. Plenty of room for all your things. Um, all of the hardware is from my website. It's my light gold hardware. It's so pretty with this black. I used one inch webbing from Wonderground Fabrics on my strap. And that's it. This pattern comes in three sizes, which is so awesome. I need to make the small still. That's the only one I haven't made now. I think I'm going to have to complete my set <laughs> and make a small one next. Um, yeah, hopefully this tutorial helps you a little bit better than the live. The live was fun and I had fun talking with my sister and everybody, but this is more of just a sit down instructional um, tutorial for this bag. All right, let's start making it. Okay, let's do a quick overview of our pieces for this bag. I am using all canvas on my outside and my inside lining and then my pocket pieces, I'm using a cotton, which I just interfaced with a woven material interfacing. There's so many different woven interfacings out there now. So I suggest you just try some out and see what you like. If you want, you know, basic cheap one, get it SF 101 from Joann's to start. And that'll give you an idea of what you're looking for, except better. There's better products out there. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm just doing, here we go. All right. So I am doing a front zipper pocket. There are three different options for the front. You can do a front zipper pocket. You can do a fussy cut option or you can do one full front panel. I'm doing the zipper pocket because the more pockets, the better. All right, so here is my front zipper pocket piece. I have my exterior and my lining, okay? I have my front zipper pocket back part of the lining cut out right here. Um, my front panel top piece, so it's just one exterior. Okay, that's gonna go on the front 
top part of my zipper. My side accent pieces for the bag, they are mirrored. There should be two of them. Um, you can cut out each pattern piece or you can just mirror the one. So there's two of those exterior. My top flap, I have my exterior and my lining. My bottom base, exterior and lining. I keep my pattern pieces, especially with those um, because they are very similar shapes, so make sure that you know which is which. My back panel piece, one exterior for that. My exterior back pocket lining pieces, there are two, and they are shaped like this. Two of those. My front panel lining piece, it's one big piece like this, okay? This is my lining piece. And for my inside pieces, I have my zipper. Well, I have my uh, lining here for my zipper pocket. And my other piece for my zipper pocket. So this is my actual pocket piece. I'm going to do my pocket a little bit different than what she has in the pattern, just like I did in my life. It's just I don't know, I understand it better that way and it's simpler to me that way. And then we have a slip pocket piece, just one. And then my side wing pieces, again, two of those and they are mirrored. Those are all of our pieces for this hip bag. I have zipper tape, zipper pulls. I did my strap already out of webbing. I'm just doing it with hooks some snap hooks and I'm using these rectangle um, rings for to attach the adjustable strap to. And that's all for the um, hardware. It really isn't heavy on the hardware. All right, let's get going on this bag. I'm gonna start working on my front zipper pocket. So I have my pieces here, my front zipper pocket panel piece, my top, front panel top zipper piece and my zipper. I am not gonna put my pole on until um, until the end. So you can add it now if you would like, but I'm gonna add mine after I do this part so I'm not fighting with my zipper pole. All right, so you wanna lay your zipper tape right side down and I'm gonna baste that onto my front panel first. take my zipper pocket lining piece and put that right sides together on top of that zipper. I'm going to line that up and now I'm going to sew that at my full seam allowance. Once that is on, you wanna flip this over and I'm going to top stitch along that bottom panel here. All right, right under the zipper. If you have all cotton, you can go and press this with your iron really good. I'm just kind of pulling and creasing it with my fingers as I go. After you have that on, you want to take your top piece here. I'm going to put it right side down, right sides together with my zipper, and I am going to 
put that on. Now you can sew this at your full seam allowance up here. I may do this a tiny bit different than she has in the pattern and it's okay. It all comes out the same. All right, and then I'm going to flip that up and top stitch it. If you want to, right now you can add your zipper before you forget. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my zipper pull. I want it going left to right, so I add it onto the right end of my zipper. So it closes going towards the left. If you have a different preference, then that's fine too. <laughs> Whatever you wanna do, and I'm, I am gonna trim up my extra zipper tape here. and make sure you melt that zipper tape on the ends after you cut it so it doesn't fray and unravel. Okay. And then I wanna take my front zipper pocket piece lining right here. And I'm just going to put that on the back and I'm gonna clip it around and I'm going to baste this onto my pocket. So it is facing right side up, okay, because it's the back part of my zipper pocket. And I'm basting that on, and it may be a little short on the back. Mine, every time I do it, yeah, it's just the tiniest bit short. You might be trimming this up a little bit, so it works out fine. All right, so I am going to sew this on, basting. And this also bastes your zipper shut here too, so your zipper pulls don't fall off. Did I get it all? Yep, looks good. All right, so there is my front zipper pocket. Now I wanna take these side accent pieces and add those to this front piece to complete it, all right? So here and here. I'm gonna line it up starting at the top of my pocket because we will be probably trimming the bottom down just a little bit. At least on the large we did. I don't know about this medium. It might be a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna sew along there. Pay attention to your seam allowance in the pattern. Follow your seam allowance. All right, just like that. And I'm going to fold it out. My seam allowance is going towards this side panel piece and I'm gonna to top stitch. All right, and now I'm going to repeat with this other side here. Line it up at the top and go down from there. All right, I'm going 
to flip and top stitch. Adorable. Love it already. All right, so that's my front panel piece. Now you want to make sure that it is the right size. So I'm going to take this pattern piece and it looks like this medium one, I may not have to trim at all. Oh, just the tiniest bit. Do you see how it's just a little bit too long? Like maybe a eighth of an inch along the bottom is what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up and we'll continue to the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna work with our finished front panel here and our other big panel piece. You wanna take this and you wanna mark 3 eighths of an inch on both sides here. And I also marked it on the wrong side of my exterior front panel. It's just helpful for when we add this zipper. That is going to be our stopping and starting points for our stitching on this pattern or on this uh, step. So I have lined up my centers here. I clipped my centers on all my pieces and I laid my zipper right side up and my lining is right side up. And I'm going to just clip this in place and baste this zipper on first. And I am going to start and stop at these 3 8 of an inch marks here, okay? Both zipper and lining are right side up. All right, here we go. Once you have that basted, we're going to add the exterior front panel piece. Okay, we're gonna put this panel piece right side together with this zipper and lining that we just did, marking our centers and lining them up here and clipping along. Perfect. All right, and now I'm going to sew this on at my full seam allowance, starting and stopping at that 3 eighths of an inch mark on both sides. All right, you can kind of see better on this side what my stitching looks like. All right, so now we want to clip from this corner into that um, row of stitching that we just did to that 3 eighths of an inch mark. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to give it a snip right there. And I'm going to take this. And give it another snip right there. And 
I'm going to take my lighter to just melt that zipper that I just snipped a little bit right along there and right along here. Just want to make sure that's good and melted so it doesn't fray on me. Good. All right, so now I want to turn this right sides out, okay? And I am going to just kind of take this and pull it and clip it down on the bottom and place over here first, just so everything's in place where we want it. And I'm gonna pull it. All right, next step, you wanna take this and flip this corner piece up and your tab that you just cut will pop up right here. And you want it to lay up flat on your zipper. And you wanna flip that over and do the same with the lining. Okay, you got your little tab there. And now I'm going to sew that just on my zipper here at that 3 8 inch mark. And that closes up this zipper. And then when you pull this back, it gives you that nice clean edge there. All right, so that's what that should look like. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat for this other side. There's my tab. All right, so I'm gonna sew that. All right, I'm gonna undo it and pull them back. And there is our zipper. So now I wanna top stitch along that. So I'm just kind of going to press it all down really good. Oh, I've got my zipper going the wrong way. Shoot. That's okay. <laughs> my zipper's going the wrong way. Dang it. Ugh, is it worth it? I think it is. That's going to really bug me. I'm going to just unstitch this and put my zipper on so it's closing this way and then we'll top stitch. Okay, I went back and fixed that. I'm much happier. <laughs> that would have bothered me. All right, so now I'm going to top stitch.
And you might need help getting over this little seam here. I probably should have used it over here, but it went okay. I'm going to help my foot over this one, though. Right here. Yeah. There is my front panel. My back piece is on there. So now I want to add my bottom pieces. All right, my bottom part of the bag, my base, which I'm going to do different than she has in the pattern. I'm going to add them separately. The same, I did the same thing in the live that I did. And I've done it another time since then, and I really like doing it separately like this. So we're just going to do the same thing here. So I'm just clipping my centers on my pieces. Get those marked. I already have them clipped on my main exterior and lining. I already did that. All right. What we're gonna do is separate the two, okay? I'm just going to be working with my lining piece first, okay? And we're going on our curved edge here. And I'm going to put them right sides together. I'm going to clip the center. Get a bunch of clips. And we'll probably need to make some snips into the piece here to get the nice curve, but you wanna take it to the edge here of your piece. I'm gonna clip it here and bring it in. Depends on the material you're using. Um, if you need to make a lot of snips or not, I may not need to. I may be able to get it without clipping into it. So here we go. Clip it on that curve. All right, just like that. And then take this edge here over to this edge here. Do the same thing. You're gonna have to kind of manipulate your pieces here. There you go. And then come in this other way. I use lots of clips. Don't be afraid to use the clips, even though they break on you all the time. All right, so that's what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to sew this curve here, and then we will repeat with the exterior.
Give it a good look. Make sure everything looks all right. I think it looks great. All right, that's what it looks like on the inside. So now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps for my exterior bottom piece. All right, get it on the curve here and make sure I'm doing the right side. All right, here we go. Same steps. I think I snipped. Maybe I didn't. Ah, I trimmed off my centers. All right. So this one, I think I'm definitely going to have to put some snips in this curve and they're gonna be very tiny because my seam allowance isn't that big. So these are just really tiny little snips just so I can get a nice curve in my piece. materials a little bit slippery that I'm working with so it's sliding so we'll see how this is to sew hopefully it'll be okay I'm gonna go ahead and put some clips right here I'm doing a ton of clips just because um, my, my Lux nylon wants to slip a little bit on itself. But, so I put quite a bit of clips. You probably don't need that many um, unless you're using the same material I am. Okay, so let's sew this on. Same exact way.
looks good. So got my bottom on and my lining. So we want to put these together. That looks good. All right. All right. Um, I am going to now baste these two pieces all together along the outside. I'm just pushing out my seam a little bit more here to get it to lay nice. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so I'm going to line up my seams along the bottom here. I'm going to flatten them out. And then I'm just going to clip this all together. Okay, so now I'm going to baste along the whole outside of this and it'll make one big piece, okay? Then we'll just have one big panel. So let's just baste this together. Here we go. All right, now I'm just gonna make sure I got both pieces sewn together. Hmm, I kind of went off a little bit right here. Just a second. Looks good. All right, so there is our front panel piece. We're going to go to the back. Okay, so before we go to the back, we're going to put on our top uh, panel piece. So I have my exterior and my lining. I have marked my centers again, and you kind of clip it on the same way. Um, just we're not, you know, we don't have two pieces this time. We're just doing this with the zipper. So I want to start with my exterior and my exterior top. I'm going to line up my centers and I'm going to clip it on exactly the same way that I did with the base, except for I can't, um, I can't clip into my zipper like I did on the other one. And also I am going to put a mark on each side of a one fourth inch mark here. 
and a 1 4 inch mark here. This is the part I struggle with is the placement of this and the end stitching and not having a raw edge showing up here. So I'm hoping I can figure this out this time. All right, so I want to place this. Oh, I marked it on the wrong end. Sorry. You wanna mark your 1 4 inch along here. And along here. It's hard to see with my chalk, okay. So I want to place this top panel, this 1 4 inch mark that I made, I'm placing that right along where the zipper ends, okay, right there. And that's going to be the placement of that top panel piece. All right, and then I will clip the rest of this in there. And that should lay in pretty nicely. Hard to see with my black material. Sorry, not the best for a video. I, I make that mistake sometimes and I forget. But I really wanted a black medium size one. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here again. Move my zipper out of the way and that 1 4 inch mark is lining up with the end of my zipper here. And I'm gonna clip that. All right. Now I am just basting this side on first and then I will do the other side at the full seam allowance. All right, I am going to um, unzip this. It's just a little bit easier with the zipper open. All right, here we go. Now for this end piece here, you're supposed to gradually come off and on. I don't, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. All right, here we go. Well, this part probably side, it doesn't matter as much. Like I said, this is really the only part of the pattern that I can't fully grasp. Hopefully I figure it or I've fixed it and it'll be good this time. All right, and just baste that along that zipper. zipper out of the way a little bit. Make sure I got it. It looks good. There's no bumps or anything like that. All right, I'm gonna show you from the back. So I just basted it on the top there. That's what the front looks like. Okay, so now I wanna turn this right side out and we will add 
a lining piece to the other side of it, okay? Right, don't I wanna turn it right side out? No, I don't. We're adding it to this side, so I guess you still want it this way. Whatever. Okay, so now we want to add our lining piece to the other side of the zipper. So I'm going to line up. So my zipper's in the middle, okay? You're sandwiching that zipper in the middle. And now you're kind of working from this other side. I guess it doesn't really matter which way your bag is turned, does it? I don't know. It might be easier if it's like that. All right, and then I need to mark my line too on this for placement. All right, so I'm gonna take this over here and place it at the end of that zipper. Line it up with your front panel as well. Right there. All right, and clip that on. Make sure your zipper is laying flat in between all these, in between these layers, because you don't want your zipper to have any um, bumps in it. All right, other side here. You are gonna have to just kind of manipulate your piece quite a bit. Okay, line it up right there. to start over here on this side, I think, because it's a little bit hard to get around this zipper, but once I'm around this zipper, I can completely undo it, and then it's a lot easier. So I am going to start on the side with the zipper closed right here, and then we'll do the rest. in and undo that zipper so it's fully behind and then go the rest of the way.
dense. All right, so I've got that sewn all along the top there. I'm going to turn it right side out. I'm just giving it some good pressing, pulling the zipper as I go, getting it creased. Again, if you're using all cotton, you can totally get that iron in there and press it. But I'll show you what it looks like so far. That's what we just did. All right, so now I just want to top stitch along this top flap. All right, let's try it. I'm just really pulling both layers as I go here. All right, and then after I have that top stitch, I'm also going to just baste this back um, two pieces together. So it's just one continuous piece. Perfect. So far, that's what it looks like. Okay, now we're gonna work on our back panel piece. Okay, so I have my back panel pieces. I have my big exterior piece and my two lining pieces. So we're gonna be adding a zipper in this. So I have my zipper pocket piece right side up and my zipper right side up. I'm gonna center those up. And I'm going to baste this zipper on to the lining first. Now I'm gonna take my exterior um, piece. I have my 3 8 inch marks marked. My pocket is going to lay on top. I'm going to line up my centers here. So my right sides are facing each other. My zipper is in the middle of the two. All right, and I'm clipping this along this zipper pocket area here. All right, and now I'm going to stop and start at those three H inch, three eight inch marks again at my seam allowance and sew this part onto my exterior piece.
So we want to do that snip into the corner again like we did on our front piece, except this time I'm only snipping this um, exterior part. I don't think I need to snip the zipper part for this. I believe. Let's try it. All right, so we want to flip it over again, just like we did with this front pocket piece. And I am going to line up my centers down here. Maybe, did I have my center clipped? I did not. Actually, I don't even know. Does it go all the way to the end? It does, okay. Just to keep this lined up and out of the way. All right. So I'm doing the whole fold up right there. And I will be sewing this little flap again at that 3 8 inch seam allowance, okay? And I will be doing the same thing on this side. All right. So then it folds back and look how nice it looks. All right, I'm gonna do the same over here. So when you have those little flaps sewn down, you're going to top stitch your zipper. I'm just gonna give it a good finger press down here. My zipper is going the correct way. We are good there. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Okay. After that is top stitched, you want to grab your other pocket lining piece. And we are going to be adding it to the top here. So I want to line it up at the top of my zipper. I'm going to clip it. I'm gonna baste that on first and then we'll close up just the sides because we will be turning our whole bag through this pocket. So we're going to leave the bottom open. All right, so I'm just basting the top of this lining to the top of my zipper. So once that's on, you kind of see you need to trim off a little bit. So I'm going to trim that underneath lining piece. 
and we will be folding up this bottom since we are pulling our bag through it. And then we'll sew up the sides. Okay, so I just wanna do a fold. You could do it to your iron if you want to. Just gonna give it a good crease here. Fold it over. Fold this one up the same. And I like to put a clip on the end here because we will be sewing it folded up like that. All right, so I'm gonna just sew my sides up. Make sure you flip your exterior out of the way. I'm also going to just trim off this zipper. I don't need that extra. And I will take my lighter and melt my edges. And then we will continue to the pockets on the inside. I'm going to do my zipper pocket first. I have my lining piece here and my zipper pocket piece here. I'm just doing this my way. I'm not doing it the way it's written in the pattern. Um, they're both great ways, so just do whichever way is comfortable to you. So I have my markings of where I want to place this. I want mine to go right there. And I am going to sew that on. Right sides are together. And I just drew my zipper box on my zipper pocket piece. And my placement for this is the same as the pattern. Just the way I'm adding it is different. Pull that through. I think I'm gonna take this to my iron very carefully and give it a press real quick so it's nice and flat and then we'll add our zipper. Okay, now I'm going to add my zipper Got double-sided tape on both sides. I'm gonna add the bottom first and then the top.
All right, I'm gonna sew that in. So now all I need to do is close up my zipper pocket. So I'm just going to bring this up to the top and I'm going to close all sides because our open one is on the, that outside zipper pocket. So we don't need to worry about the inside ones. All right. And I'm going to go kind of in to get this out of my seam allowance as well. going to trim that up. So we have our slip pocket here. We want to take it, let me make sure I'm going to do this right. Yes. Okay. Right side down at the bottom here. All right. Our slip pocket there. I'm going to clip that on. All right. Now I'm going to sew that to the bottom of my piece. And I know this is different measurements. Hmm. All right. Here we go. All right. So then you want to take this and fold it back. And this bottom row that we, or the bottom stitch line that we just did, that's going to be the top of your slip pocket. You're gonna be pulling it up like that. All right, so I'm gonna to top stitch this. And then I'm going to be pulling it up to here. Now I need to figure out what 
probably gonna lay about right there. I need to figure out how tall this needs to be. So what I'm going to do is measure this. Feels like that fit almost perfectly though. <laughs> All right, let's see how tall this is. All right, because for the different sizes, it's going to be different heights. Oh, I had that clipped almost, or moved up almost perfectly to where it needed to go. Okay, so I just clipped that right there. the front, that's the back. I'm going to baste these sides now. So now we have our zip pocket and our slip pocket. Now we need our side pieces for this lining piece before we finish. All right, they're gonna go on the sides just like this. They should be mirrored. I'm gonna take it and line it up at the top of my piece and clip it down and sew. And then I will flip that to the side and I will top stitch. Repeat for the other side. Our pieces are now done. We are going to finish assembling this hip bag. First thing we need to do is add your D-rings or your webbing or however you are attaching your strap. So I have my D-rings markings I transferred from the pattern piece and I'm just going to baste these on to each side. Okay, so once those are basted on, we are ready to attach our two main pieces. So I think I'm going to do, am I gonna do this front piece first? I forget which one I do first. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one first. So I wanna take this and flip it inside out. I'm kind of opening that zipper there. 
And I'm going to take my exterior backside. I'm going to make sure my zipper pocket is somewhat open because that's going to be our pull through pocket. And now I just want to clip it all along the back of the bag here. All right, so I'm going to mark my centers first and line those up. I've got them marked here, right side to right side and just start clipping this all on. And here we go. Now these little corners right here is where I always have a hard time, right where that zipper ends and this begins is where I have a hard time getting that seam allowance where I need it to be so it covers up that seam. So I'm going to try super hard to make sure that that gets done this time. So we'll see how I do. All right. I clip over here and now I'm going to turn it and do the, and do the bottom. Maybe there it is. Right there. All right, so now I'm going to sew around that and get that all added on, and then we will add the back half.
All right, I'm gonna turn it around and make sure, oh, see, I missed a little, I don't know if you can see it right there. I missed a little spot right there. So I'm gonna unpick that and redo that. But other than that, it looks like I got everything. I don't know why this little spot wants to be wrinkled. So I'm just gonna undo this a little bit and adjust. So now that that back piece is put on, I'm now going to work on the front piece. Well, not the front piece, I guess. The lining piece here. So I have my lining piece. Not here, here. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm just putting my zipper in probably about that much. Okay, and then all of this, you'll kind of have to scrunch in, which is nice when you're using just the canvas because you can do that. And then I'm gonna put this right sides together with my lining. And then I'm just gonna go about clipping it the same way I did the other side. Now make sure that your exterior zipper pocket is open so we can pull it through there. When we are all done, I need to mark my centers real quick on this lining piece. I didn't do that. All right, here we go. All right, we are all clipped together. I'm gonna go ahead and sew around that at my seam allowance and then we'll pull it through.
right, I'm just checking on all sides, making sure it looks good. I think it looks good. Let's see if I caught those corners. All right, so I'm gonna open up this zipper here. <laughs> I just closed it. Other way. And this is gonna be, did I get it? Maybe, I may have done it. All right, let's pull this through. I think I actually caught that top little flap that I've had issues with, so that's good. Yay, I did. All right, I'm gonna get out my, my chopstick, my handy dandy chopstick and get all of these corners poked out. And then we will see what beautiful thing we created. <laughs> gonna go along all my edges here. Get this all poked out. Wow, oh, looks good. Yay! It looks so good. All right. Look at that. Yes. front, back. So the part I was worried about is right here. It looks like I finally caught it before I had like raw edges showing and it didn't look so pretty, but I actually did it this time. Those tips and tricks that I learned paid off. Okay. So all I have to do Make sure you like how everything is laying. I could have trimmed, I probably could have trimmed these seams a little bit in here along my connectors and they wouldn't be so bulky turning them out. So maybe, you know, go in and trim those seams first before you turn this bag out, but I think it looks fine. All right. I'm just going to close up my pocket and then we are done. We'll put on our waistband or our adjustable strap and we are good to go. All right, so this is my third hip bag that I have made and this is probably my best one yet. So third time's a charm. I finally caught those edges in my flap. I think I've got it. Now I need to make the small size, right? <laughs> I haven't made the small yet. I totally want to. All right, I'm gonna sew this up real quick.
Dah. That's cute. Here we are, we're all done. Look how, oh my gosh. That is such a cute hip bag. This is the medium size. I freaking love it so much. This is probably more of the size I would use day to day. The large is like a good travel one, but this is a perfect, I mean, everyday type. Here, I'm going to put it on. Oh my gosh. Oh, I freaking love this bag. This might be my new everyday bag. It might. Okay. I hope this was helpful. I'll show you what it looks like on the back. Love it. Okay. This was the medium. I hope this is helpful. Again, I had a live with my sister doing the large. It was kind of, you know, my first time through. I hope this was more helpful for you guys to sit down and sew this bag up. It is just such a cute pattern. You know how many bags in the store I see like this? So many. And this um, Lux nylon material from Wonderground Fabrics. It's amazing. I need it in every color. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.